let us see what is inside the test folder and we will also be writing a login test case inside the test folder we have a file called base test and in, within that i am importing pytest i am importing my site page from the page folder and i am importing the login actions uh, i have a class called base test and uh, we are using calling the setup fixture here uh, the setup fixture is available in the conf test.py which will help us to boot a device so i'm using that setup fixture and then i have a, a method called init and uh, within that i'm calling i'm creating a variable which is uh, i mean uh, self dot site and then self dot log actions which will in turn call the uh, specific files now let us go ahead and create a simple login test case i'm naming the file test login and inside the file i'm going to import the base test class and then uh, i'm going to create a new class which is test login and this test login will have self uh, will call the base test inherit the base test so whatever uh, method we have in this will be uh, automatically inherited into the test login let us create a new method which is again test login since we are going to test the login flow and then I'm calling the init method from the base test. So let us call the login actions and the login step method. Uh, this will take uh, email, which is uh, AK mobile testing and it's going to be a string. And similarly, we are going to pass a password which is the following so now let's go ahead and run this test case i have already started the apm server and it is running and uh, in the config file i mentioned to run the following test case in an ios device let's add a assert statement uh, to verify the block title for this i'm going to use the my site uh, page and then we have a method in this page which will fetch the title of the blog so i'm going to use that method and then compare it with the blog title which is ak mobile testing let's go ahead and run the test case And uh, you can notice that the iOS test case passed successfully. Uh, previously, we have seen that from the config file, we can change the platform to Android if we want to run the test case in Android. Um, let us run the test case in Android device also. And first logging out and running the same test case. We didn't do any other modification. So uh, with the same script, we were able to run the test case on iOS and uh, Android devices. Uh, previously, uh, this was our login script, which is uh, so huge. And then we had a lot of sleeps and then uh, we did a step-by-step -step, uh, process. But now this whole script is reduced to uh, two lines and uh, we have properly uh, moved each method into separate pages and action files. 
to summarize we have the test cases which depend on actions file which in turn depends on the page files and page file uses the utils method to find the elements and then perform actions on it and if we come to the left side, right side um, you can notice that the test cases also depend on conf test which will help us to uh, start a device of our choice and the conf test file internally depends on the config.yaml file to uh, fetch the device configurations and uh, settings file acts as a mediator so in our test case we directly pass the email id and uh, password but uh, we can also fetch the data from the production.yml file i highly encourage you to try out uh, the post creation and uh, logout test cases uh, using this page object model framework and uh, continue your learning